It's gonna be a ladder. It's gonna be a chipper or a ladder. It's gotta be. You know, you know what it is, right? You've looked. You know. How you doing, buddy? I'm nervous. I didn't look. It's like MTV Cribs. Oh God. Ladies and gentlemen, for the announcement of 18.1, the first part of the triplet is toes to bar. One, two, three. So what do you think? One and done? <laughs> or, really not? or twice for fun? Twice for fun. It is pretty straightforward. I think the the rep scheme is a bit dangerous to start. There's quite low reps, so you can get through the first few rounds quite quickly. And I think it will. A lot of people are going to go out probably too hard, as per usual. The strategy just depends on the person, like. I think a good rule of thumb for most people, like if you go out the first round at 90 seconds, then you've gone out way too hard. <laughs> um, which a lot of people will probably do. I think, you know, I think it's important that the row is quite a significant factor. So you see like some of the screens, Sam was rowing at 1,200, 1,300 calories. Wow. Yeah. And Christian was rowing at 1,000. So the so nice and yeah, nice and easy basically on the row. Yeah, so blasting through the row, yeah, it's quite important. I think if you're going to divide anywhere, then it needs to be through the toes to bar, even quick singles. Um, and then with the dumbbell, if you can, not trying to rest on the floor. Like there's a lot of transitions and a lot of a lot of reps. So you've got to be quite disciplined through the through the whole piece. If you start the rower softly, it will cost you. So, you know, really, I think a lot of this work is about discipline. Just being disciplined through uh, through different movements. Discipline. Through the movement. And, and if you're going 90 seconds per round. I'm going too quick. <laughs> they want like sub 90 on the first one. Yeah, they were moving. <laughs> the adrenaline of being in a crowd, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first round, yeah, went down to like Christian, Christian was 118 in the first round, but then she gets to like 140 on the later round. Yeah, the no, you can have it on the side as well. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Okay. What's the dream? The dream number for this one? Okay. <laughs> I don't like to intimidate people. Uh, I suppose. Yeah. I feel the same way. Yeah. Let's not disclose those. Bleep them out. <laughs> okay, guys, this is our 18.1 for Insta. We're trying to get you all this information in one minute. So, for our warm up, the one thing we want to do make sure our equipment is set up well, all in a tight space. We then start with the long uh, lung opener, we're going to prep our movements and then we're going to have a workout primer. Our full warm up is available on our Facebook groups, it's too long to enter here. The movements, toes to bar, we want to choose a manual rep scheme. Quick singles may actually be quicker than holding onto the bar and trying to get through the reps. The dumbbell, make sure you start from the hang, no, no reps. You can choose if you go muscle or press, power and jerk. Choose a comfortable rhythm. The weight's not so challenging that you are forced to choose one style. Keep the transition smooth. Row, right. set up your drag factor. Make sure the straps are how you want them. And also sprint start. We use a five pull strategy. Make sure you're doing that each workout. For the workout, within the workout, as we mentioned, keep the setup close. The transitions are as important as the movements. That's key. Splits, if you want to be best in the world, like the queen of consistency, Sam Briggs, you need to be looking around that 90 second mark per round. Again, that's if you're the best in the world. If you're not, adapt the splits as needed. And finally, the mindset for the workout, break this down rep by rep. There's no need when you're in it in the first few minutes to be thinking about 20 minutes. 
finish your toaster bar, finish your uh, clean and jerks, and finish your calories on the right. Enjoy. Scale from one to ten, how excited are you? This thing's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's time to suffer. What was the best part of 18.1? Best part? Yeah. Uh, I think it was, for me, it was the fact that it was like few enough reps that you managed to keep the same rhythm. It was like just few enough so you could go unbroken without like crashing. For me, I think that it was kind of easy to practice and strategy. Like you can keep the same tempo, the same pace for the entire 20 minutes. So it's I think that was the easiest part. And going into, if you guys can do a second attempt, what would you change from the first to the second? Uh, I think as you, the rounds went, you got a bit more comfortable with the, the cleans. So now I would know how to like tackle them straight away and have a better flow. So I would try to do them quicker. And then like just stay disciplined in transitions. There's a lot of transitions in this, in this workout. I would just go faster in the last few rounds and get more into the pain cave, I think. <laughs> Suffer earlier. Suffer earlier, yeah. And um, any parts of the body that you guys were expecting or not expecting to hurt? Was it just all forearms with low back, lungs? I didn't feel my back at all actually. Just for me it was the forearms. For me the forearms, Great. yeah. Yeah. Holding on to my the bar at like the rig and the dumbbell. Yeah. Congratulations. Ha, ha, ha.